The biggest wild card in the world economy right now is China. The question is, will the world's second biggest economy keep growing like it's grown before, or will it suffer for all the money that it's borrowed over the past five years? The outcome will depend heavily on how China handles its debt situation. And the biggest concern there is China's big and fast-growing shadow banking system. Shadow banks are simply lenders that are not banks. And in China, they take the form of trust or wealth management products. Many of them are sponsored by banks, even though the banks themselves don't lend the money. The wealth management products take money from investors by promising them higher yields than they could get in a bank. Then they lend the money out to businesses that are either too small or too risky for the big banks. One big risk is the loans go bad. And the question there is who takes the loss? Will the banks bail out the investors? Will the government bail out the banks? Or will the investors suffer alone? A payback for reaching for high yield without understanding where the money was invested. Shadow banking numbers are big. Fitch Ratings says so far this year, banks themselves have lent 5.6 trillion yuan, but the shadow banking system alone has lent over 7 trillion yuan. When people talk about a US-style financial crisis in China, the shadow banking system is right at the center of it. The US suffered a liquidity crisis when short-term lending dried up. But that's what happened in China in June when the central bank tried again to slow the lending in the shadow banking system by squeezing the market where the banks lend money to one another. Some banks were in serious trouble until the central bank opened the spigots a few days later. Some banks were so desperate for cash, they were offering to pay interest rates up to 25% a year. The good news is China's regulators know all about the shadow banking system and they're doing all they can to rein it in. Many economists say the biggest risk facing China is long term. They say China is more like Japan and it could end up in a long term debt laden slow growth period. The two countries are pretty similar. China has a, lot, a big growth in debt, they have a big property boom and they have lenders that are very cozy with the borrowers. For China, with its big and still relatively poor population, two decades of slow growth could be very risky. For more on the China financial situation, read the Wall Street Journal series, China's Rising Risks.